And hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, the original on the NES. My name is Keith, aka Keithius, and when we last left off, we were doing level 6. And this old guy is trying to shoot me, but he can't. Haha. -ha. I'm in the door, you can't get me. Alright, enough of that. Sorry about the uh, delay between this episode and the last one. I just uh, haven't felt like playing The Legend of Zelda recently, so what can I say? Alright, but moving on. Let's go over here. I've already done this room. Already done this room. Ah. I'm really bad at dodging the uh, fireballs that those things spit out. And we just walk straight up. Traps are too slow. And here, wah! no fun when the enemies can shoot at you as well. And you can't stun these wizards either. Ah, oh, yes, fairy. And we push that block and we get going. Stay away from me, you stupid blob. Ghost. Thing. starting to get a little bit hazy now, so this is the point where I may have to uh, refer to a map. Ah! Forgot to switch back to the boomerang. Stupid. Stupid. No! Don't eat my shield. Come back here, you little friggin' sandwich thing. Ah, there we go. That's more like it. I am. Getting very rusty here. So this is uh, getting quite entertaining. But now I have a weapon too. Yay, it's the magic wand. Those little wizards no longer have a monopoly on this crap. Now I can do it too. And unlike in other Zelda games, no silly magic meter to worry about. Ah, a secret passage. Yay. nice thing about this is, even if you get your sword taken away by those blobs, you can uh, still use your secondary weapon to attack. 
unlike the boomerang, which just stuns enemies. Of course, it's not as strong as the magic sword, but, you know. Um... our hint for finding the next level. See you later! Oh crap! That's it. I'm gonna need some healing. There's just no, no two ways about it. <clears throat> Hope I can make it the rest of the way through this level without dying, because now I have... No weapon. And of course they give me a heart. Alright, well, it seems like we've reached a dead end here, doesn't it? But fear not. Ah, more of these guys. Let's light up this room first so I can see what the hell I'm doing. And there's just a river. Unfortunately, these guys die with one hit, and my shield can deflect it. These guys are much easier to deal with. They just appear. Unlike the uh, blue ones, which move all over the place. So now it's time to go down. Come on. More dark rooms, yay. And more frickin' whiz robes. Whiz robes, or whatever the hell they're called. Don't go out the door, you idiot. Here's a fun trick you can use. Stand on the... Since it doesn't work. I was gonna say, you could stand on the river there using your uh, ladder, but... Uh, these guys float right over it, so... Oh, crap. Remember I talked about these guys before? Now that I have the magic sword, I can kill them in one hit, and they give me an item as opposed to turning into stupid bats. Unfortunately, I missed one. So the next time I come into that room, he will be back. All the others will remain dead. Oh, crap. This is not looking good. Shit. I died. Embarrassing. And now I've only got three hearts. Well, gonna have to go recharge. I suppose this is as good a time as any to uh, test out our new recorder. Do 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 do. Ah, tornado! And it takes us to other places. Now the question we have to resolve in the last minute or so of this video is whether or not it will take you to places you haven't, you know, palaces, dungeons, you haven't cleared yet. For example, will it take me to... any of the uh, levels I haven't finished yet, like level 7 or level 8. Actually, it seems to be just taking me between these two for some reason, that's odd. Ah! Running out of time, gotta be quick. Got about 30 seconds left in my recording. Three. Whew. That was close. Four. Five. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Nope. 
And that's all the time we have. See you next time.